Well, right about now, hearts are beating furiously. The two best teams in South America are about to go head-to-head. -head. It's the Copa Libertadores final, and it's live next on EA TV. And so the long wait is over. Millions of viewers are tuning in worldwide with the anticipation building ahead of the Copa Libertadores final. This is Derek Ray, and with me in the commentary position, as always, is Lee Dixon. We're just minutes away from kickoff now. Lee, this ought to be special. Well, what a match this promises to be. Both teams have been phenomenal throughout the earlier rounds. But well, that counts for nothing now. It's all about performing on the big stage. I've been in this situation before, and it's all about composure, not letting the atmosphere get to you. Looking forward to this one, Derek. So we can check on the starting lineup. Would you call it 4 5 1, Lee? Yeah, I really like this formation, Derek. 4 2 3 1, really. Two central midfield players supplying support to a three ahead of them and then a lone striker with a number 10 just behind him. A look at the opposition starting lineup today. A 4-4-2 with a slight tweak, maybe. Yeah, it's all about the central midfield players in this formation, Derek. The two players, instead of playing next to each other, one will just play advanced of the other one. Very, very important that the wide players tuck in when they haven't got the ball to help that lone midfield player in the middle of the park. Well, you know, Lee, if we'd been covering this tournament a couple of years ago, we'd have been covering it on the basis of two legs in the final. 2019, it was changed to one final, one match at a predetermined venue, Lima, in that case, when Flamengo beat Riva. Yeah, absolutely, and that's how finals should be. Just the one game, none of that two-legged nonsense. And I'm really pleased it's like that now. We're in for a really good game. I love finals, you know that, Derek. Getting forward. And teammates to play it to. And he stopped them in their tracks. And a goal kick given. Well, you never quite know who's going to dominate a game in advance, but I think you can maybe make an argument for this fellow. Lee, what do you think we'll see from him? Well, how do you stop him? Four goals in three games. I suggest the defenders, not just one of them. Twos and threes might be the case. And he knocked it over the touchline, so it will be a throw-in here. Jeff Merson. Fine cross into the middle. And he was in the right place to intercept. It's a quality pass. Well, now in a dangerous position. Well, every finisher's dream. And it is the opening goal of the contest. Well, it was always going to be a tight game, but now all of a sudden, one team ahead. Things have got to change on both sides. Well, I'm sure you want to see this again. Where is everybody? The defenders, nowhere to be seen. It's an open goal. Let's have another view of that goal. Mm -hmm. 
So the match has restarted. 1 0 here. And now Sandoiro. It's with Fielderas. Good visualization and execution. Oh, it's off the post. And there it is, the goal they wanted for security. They lead by two now. They can breathe that bit more easily. Well, as we look at this again, what they always say, focus on the ball. Sure, you strike it cleanly. He's done just that. What a finish. Well, let's take another look at that goal, shall we? It's going their way. 2-0. Oh, stylish ball. What can they do now? Clayton Fielderas. And it's with Osvaldo Lodeiro. Douglas Armeira. Good vision. Can he get onto this? Real danger. My goodness, Lee. The goalkeeper had his work cut out for him, but delivered. Yeah, that's what they do. Look at that save. A brilliant effort. So the corner played into the box. Not the result from the set piece they were looking for. I think he knew he was guilty of fouling. Free kick conceded. It's with Fielderas. Melvin Parella. And putting his body on the line. Now he must favour the cross. And the snuffing out of the cross there. But he dealt with that ball played in rather well. And it's with Osvaldo Lodeiro. Jeff Merson. Osvaldo Lodeiro. Now Armeira. Thunders clear. Jeff Merson. The attack continues. They're making considerable progress. It has gone over the touchline for what will be a throw-in. Good tackle. It'll be a throw. Running with the ball confidently. An attack full of promise. Pretty comfortable piece of defending. And now Sandoiro. It's there for him. Not the easiest of situations for the keeper. He's driven in the corner. Not to be this time. So the whistle then. We're at the halfway stage in this match. tense battle so far and now the second half is underway
Well, he's got plenty of space on the flank here. Osvaldo Lodeiro. Now Armeira. And now Sandoiro. Well, it was a risky challenge, but brilliantly executed. Well, he went strongly into the challenge, and the result is a throw-in. Individual quality coming to the fore. Well, they're on the scent of something positive. And space for the cross. A cross lacking. Can they slot him home? And he did what he had to do defensively. Nothing wrong with that idea. It looked as though he might have been onside, but he was just a fraction off. Oh, I'm not so sure. I'd like to see that again. And a substitution in the offing. And they did have the ball, but not anymore. Might really be able to trouble them here. Well, that is a defender's job to come to the rescue. A good-looking move. And the cross is very much on. He read it well, but still work to do. Given away. Now, let's see about the cross. A wonderful intervention. Will he finish? He put it up quite to enough. And cleared away. Well, listen to that, Derek. They think it was a nailed-on pen. The ref didn't know. Now, Armeira. Nice switch of play. Crossing opportunity. No-nonsense clearance. Breaking at pace. Good technique displayed. An attack full of promise. Now he must favour the cross. Patient build-up at the moment. And there's the feed into the box. I must admit, I thought he was going to score with that header. Yeah, it was a quality cross and he gets up well. And it's just wide. And Mincha. It's with Ardaujo. Can they get in behind them? Tremendous ball played through. Well, that's an awful finish, and the goalkeeper could do nothing but hang on to it. Easy save for the keeper. Absolutely terrible finishing from the attacker. Moving forward effectively. And options in the centre. Untidy in possession. Wonderful chance. They've got themselves back into it. A lifeline in this game. And this could be a dramatic finale. Well, I just love to look at perfect technique. And you won't get any better than this. It's just a dream strike. Brilliant, brilliant effort. They will now make use of the substitutes bench. Well, 2-1 it is here. 
And only two minutes remaining here. Thiago Alminsha. And a pretty straightforward stop for the goalkeeper there. Yeah, weak shot straight at him, no problem for the goalie. And the new kings of the Copa Libertadores have been crowned. As we salute the winners, we must at the same time commiserate with the losers. An emotional occasion, and Lee, the bottom line is, they've done it. Well, the opposite ends of the emotions, Derek. When you're a winner, you don't think about anything else other than your teammates. But when you're the loser, you're standing and watching all this go ahead in front of you. It's really devastating, but it's all about them now, the winners. And they put so much work into this campaign. It has paid off. And now for the walk every player in South America wants to make. Awaiting them, that piece of sterling silver and their name will shortly be on the pedestal. Well, it's always superstition. Don't touch the trophy before you win it. And this lad's going to get his hands on it now. What a brilliant performance and well-deserved. The winners of the Copa Libertadores. And this is only the start of what will be wild celebrations, Lee. Well, this deserved as well. All that hard work during the season, all those training ground hours, and also the families as well. They'll enjoy this because they sacrifice stuff as well when the players are away. And this is really special getting to celebrate in front of your own fans, Lee. Well, it's giving something back. These fans have travelled all over the place following their team. Now they get to join in the celebrations, go into the crowd and give them the cup. That's what I say. Well, then it might never find its way to the trophy cabinet, Lee. And now the players get to relax a bit and enjoy having the pictures taken. Well, you know exactly where I'd be sitting in that photo, don't you, Derek? <laughs> I think I've heard it before, Lee. <laughs> Straight at the front. <laughs> and it's a quality pass. Well, now in a dangerous position. Well, every finisher's dream opening goal of the contest well it was always going to be a tight game but now all of a sudden good visualization and execution oh it's off the post and there it is the goal they wanted for security they lead by two now they can breathe that bit more easily good vision can he get onto this Goodness, Lee, the goalkeeper had his work cut out for him, but delivered. Yeah, that's what they do. Look at that save, a brilliant effort. It's there for him. Not the easiest of situations for the keeper. the feed into the box I must admit I thought he was going to score with that header yeah it was a quality cross and he gets up well and it's just wide untidy in possession wonderful chance they've got themselves back into it a lifeline in this game and they